Would you rather let other people decide what story they tell about you to their friends with the risk of it hurting your reputation or your future goals? Or would you rather be that person that dictates that story and know exactly what they're going to talk about? If you choose the second option and you want to dictate that story, you've came to the right place. So last week I got a comment from Daniel Rose and what he asked is that I talk about a personal brand and he actually says that he's starting up a social media marketing agency with two other friends and he is 17 years old. Man I wish I had the brain at 17 years old to know that I can build something to start entrepreneurship because if I knew that then look where I would be now it's 10 years later I'm turning 27 this year so much respect for you Daniel and especially for you I'm going to talk about personal brand so personal branding is really for me a really hard subject to talk about and the reason is is because I have 175 subscribers which is not a lot I just started out I think I'm busy for six months now uh, I'm not growing really fast really I'm not a great person to tell you what to do because I'm still struggling myself but then I started thinking like do you learn better from people who are already there and have millions and millions of euros while you're still struggling with earning 10 euros or will you learn from someone who is in the middle of the stage that you are and you can learn from each other and I think it's the best option for me to explain to you what I've learned so far and the things I wish I knew before starting out because honestly, I think you learn the most in the first few years of doing this. So with that in mind, I created a personal brand starter kit, which really are the things that help me out a lot if I knew that at the start. So let's jump into it. You're watching The Entrepreneur, and this channel is all about making money on social media, growing a following on social media, personal brands, Instagram, YouTube, everything. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. So the first thing that everyone in this world does is every time you want something from a person or that person wants something from you, what do you do to find information about them or to know if it is a good person or is good at his job? You search them up online. You watch them on LinkedIn, you watch them on Facebook, you watch them on Instagram, maybe on YouTube if they're there. And your whole opinion is going to be based on that social presence of that person. In the past, we only had a resume and a resume showed how good people were and they had it printed out and they gave it to people and that's just how it went. But now the resume is being replaced by this online presence. So personal branding is more important than ever because if you're not available online, what is going to happen? People are going to base their decisions on first impressions. And I myself are really bad with first impressions. I often meet people for the first day and I think I know them all and I know what they're all about. And I say, oh, this is this type of person. But then I meet them and I meet them for two weeks straight and it becomes friends. And then I think, damn, what was I wrong about that first impression? And you don't want that to happen with people who might give you a job or might give you a certain sales opportunity. So your personal branding is really important because then you are the one that can dictate the story that people are going to know about you, all right? And the second thing is you will have a presence online and the bigger this presence, the more people will come to you instead of you going to them. Imagine that you want to find a job the normal thing to do is to apply and approach people to say, hey, could you give me a job? That's what everyone does. But if your personal brand and your online presence is huge enough, people will approach you. And that's what you want to have because then you don't have a lot of work and you can invest it in better things and grow even more. So another thing is that when you're starting a personal brand, and I think this is the most important thing is 
you start to discover yourself so badly that mirror is going to be pushed in your face so extremely hard and the good thing is that once you know yourself you know how you can help others you know what your skills are and it's just a perfect way to grow in life so that might sound a little spiritual but starting a personal brand will really teach you so much aspects and also on the social side of being social with people and being more confident so it's really good if you want to grow as a person so now that we know why we should start a personal brand i'm going to jump into the personal brand starter kit which i wish i knew before i started out and the first thing you might hear a lot everywhere but it's just so damn important which is pick a niche and what is a niche for the people who don't know it's the certain subject you focus everything on so for me it's growing on social media but for someone else it might be dog lovers or for someone else it might be uh, cooking and in specific baking certain cookies all right so you gotta pick one niche and why because these people need something to relate to and need something specific they're interested in and if you're that person that just uploads random videos about random subjects or random images about random subjects it's not going to work and people are not going to follow you because why should they why should they follow you if they have nothing to expect from you so the second thing is setting long-term goals and long-term goals means several years for me it's I have a four-year plan I'm 26 and before I'm 30 I want to reach a full-time income from a personal brand but what I see a lot of people do is they start a YouTube channel or they start a personal brand on Instagram or whatever and they set a goal for a year which is not necessarily a bad thing but they fight so much for this goal and whenever something goes wrong in that year and trust me there goes a lot wrong in your first year it's going to hurt their goal so much that it's going to be not motivating for you to continue because you know you're not going to reach that goal but if you have a long-term goal let's say for five years if something happens in this small month it's not going to hurt your long-term goal and it's going to keep you motivated to keep going so my biggest advice to you is set a long-term goal focus everything on that long-term goal and it will motivate you to keep going so the third tip i can give you is to stop thinking and especially at the start i've been there i have did the same but what i did what before i was starting i kept thinking about okay uh, what do i have to wear what uh, how does my hair have to look uh, okay i need the perfect logo okay uh, i i need a perfect camera and i and i kept procrastinating from what i actually have to do which is start at the start it's so important to just do and learn as you go your content is probably going to suck so might as well just start with it and learn as you go if we look at my first video and my videos now there's a big improvement it's not amazing yet but there's an improvement and the whole reason for that is that i just stopped thinking and just started doing which i can really recommend because the longer you wait and the longer you think and think things through and you want to have the perfect start the higher that boundary is going to be for you to actually start. And I know how hard it is to start, so might as well just do it and get it over with. And the fourth thing, which is really important, which I find still really hard to do, is to have energy in your content. If we look at my first video up here, before we get into it, you're watching the Entrepreneur. It's really bad, it's really bad. And why? Because I don't have energy. I just talk like a zombie to a camera. Before we get into it, you're watching The Entrepreneur. And once you bring energy in your talk and maybe talk a bit louder and start using your hands a bit or whatever you do, once you start introducing energy in your content, not only video, but also writing, like writing with emotion, once you put that energy in, your content is going to be so much better. Because if you look at that first video of mine compared to this, it's all better because of energy. So try to use energy. If you need tips about creating energy for your videos and some tricks to actually do that and some exercises, click, I think, fuck. You can check out my previous video about filming and which will really help you because I have some tricks that 
give you energy and which I use myself. So, so the fifth point is quality content. If your content is of high quality, it's more likely your brand is going to come out even better. And I know at the start it's less important because you just have to start, but try to improve your quality of your content as soon as as soon as possible because once you've done that and I did it myself it's going to benefit you so much I see much more growth and people might say it's more about putting content out there that's all right but I rather have quality content and maybe some less content instead of just throwing random content out there and people will think okay this doesn't look good I don't want to follow this that's my opinion but Quality content is really important and not only your content but also your branding so your logo and your bannering your channel or Instagram bio needs to look good it needs to look good your your photos need to look good so try to focus on that and once you do that it's going to improve your personal brand so the sixth point and it's a quick one is actually two books that really helped me get inspired but also learned me tricks about everything and i'm a real big fan of this person which is gary v and the two books i'm talking about is crush it and crushing it those two books really helped me out and I checked them out through Audible audiobooks and it's just really nice to listen to it. So I would really recommend it. Shred those books and it will give you so much energy and it really helped me so I'm sure it will help you. I'll leave links in the description so you can check it out. So the seventh point is consistency which is really important. What I realized is you have to be consistent in uploading certain videos or certain content or whatever you post it on. And I realized this because I started my personal brand when I was in the middle of traveling and sometimes it was hard and it just cost so much energy to get content out there because I didn't have internet and that kind of stuff. So I stopped for a while with creating and I stopped for I think around 4 months and I was at around 120 subscribers. And once I got home, I, I thought I would just pick it up again, but that didn't work. A lot of subscribers were lost, a lot of views didn't come through, my growth was stopping, so everything just stopped. And I understand, because if you follow someone, you expect content from that person. And if you don't see a lot of content, then why should you follow that person? Because he might be lazy, or she might be doing something else so it's really important to be consistent in your upload schedule and try to build a schedule that you can really commit to if you're going all in at the start and you say I create one video a day trust me I've been there it's more likely you're not going to keep doing this once the years progress so now we came to the last point which is a really important one which is you have to be willing to help people and then actually help them you see so many people just throwing content out there about random stuff and just showing them their life with not a certain vision in mind to help their people. And once you start actually helping people, people are going to like you and going to follow you and you have to be really invested in helping them even further. And that's why I started this video as well. It's based on a comment of Daniel, but it's just how you have to do it. Your following needs help with something and you gotta help them. And I'm very excited to help people and I hope I can grow out of it myself. But really invest in the people and really actually help them. That's really important and once you do that, I think you nail down the personal brand starter kit and you can start for yourself. And I can talk hours and hours and straight about more stuff and I might do that in the future, but for this video, it's been too long. So sorry to keep you up so long. I hope this really helps you. If you like these types of video, make sure to smash that like button. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't because you made it to the end of this video and you will make me very happy. And I think I can really help you with the content I provide. Provide. <laughs> so that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.